Welcome to Droppy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. And I'm Karina. And, uh, you know, you guys, you did a pretty good job uh, doing that intro, but, okay. uh, you know, I think I'd actually like to take a stab at it. Oh, you want to do it. You, you want to re- uh-huh. redo you it. You want to redo it. Yeah. If I could just redo it real quick. Let me just okay. say yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber <laughs> drawings. <laughs> how did, how, see, that was a little different. Yeah, that was. It was like the same uh, sort of sketch. Yeah. But it's almost like you rendered it differently to uh, use art parlance. It's almost. Nathan, that's so crazy <laughs> that you did that. That's such it's a crazy pretty, yeah. coincidence. It's pretty crazy. What a quinky dink. <laughs> Because I don't know if you knew this going in to the episode, but today's a speed draw where we refinish each other's sketches. What? Yeah. And wow. we and we already wow. did it too. We you did couldn't it. have timed that better. Ooh. Yeah, that's so wild that you did that. Yeah. That's it. pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Um, Karina, you didn't draw in this one. No, I was busy. But you are here. Yes, I like to look and help. Yeah. I'm just here to look cute and go, <laughs> Hell yeah, we love that. <laughs> yeah. And we also love doing the episode. Yeah, I love when you do the episode. <laughs> We're going to do it right now. Whoa. Whoa. Nathan. Yes. You're up first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Before we started recording, I said, guys, I have a really stupid idea for the intro, and y'all just let me do it, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> it was good. It was We're fun. here to support yes. our friends. <laughs> Thank you. I think I, everyone probably believed us that it was totally un, yeah. unscripted, and now you've, wow. you've soiled- Well, it was unscripted. The bed. That's true. No one wrote it down. Yeah, he's not wrong. Now you're soiling the bed, Jacob. I want to see some art. I want to see some art too. <laughs> okay. Nathan, you redrew, and by redrew, I mean refinished. Refinished. One of my pieces. Yeah. Which one was it? Uh, it was Jacob Persona. Jacob Persona. It was Jacob Persona. It's just such a nice sketch. I remember when you did that one, you were like, it just. The drawing was in you, and it just emerged onto the page. Yeah, it felt so right at the time, and it's about <laughs> to feel so right seeing you do it. Yeah, I just wanted to play around in that good sketch you did. I'm excited to see it. Should we get in? Let's, Let's get it. in. I want to see. Okay, three, two, one, go. So I knew that I wasn't going to improve on your drawing because your Jacob persona was perfect the way it was. I loved the way you rendered it. It was so like minimalist and, and just like the color scheme and everything was just great. So Thank I wanted you. to, I wanted to just go as different as I could. Oh, that's exciting with mine. Just, you know, oh. so I, I wanted to get like real textury with like the fur. I looked up a bunch of uh, reference images of like how our other artists have drawn hyenas uh, to get to get ideas that way. And uh, I just I took it as an opportunity, a little little homage to Jacob because I uh, I know you've been using Clip Studio Paint a lot recently and I was <laughs> yeah. like I'll just I'll just take this opportunity to mess around in Clip Studio yeah. Paint. Ooh, good idea. Using your base drawing. Yeah. And so this is uh Kamala's graphic marker. It's You're, back again, oh, hey. baby. It's back again. <laughs> I think you must be using it at like a, a much larger thickness and just going super light with it because I was not able to get as drastic of a line variation as you have but I still really enjoyed it for the inks and then I was trying to figure out how fill works because I'm still not super comfortable with this program but I was having fun I was just having fun here yeah this is looking great so far yeah it looks nice and I did the eye that way because I saw like it was just I used to love watching like nature documentaries and hyenas whenever you film them at night their eyes just like glow 
there are these just like yeah. yellow orbs in the night. Yeah. And so I wanted to I wanted to do that. And also that made it look super different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're blending. And so yeah, I wanted to I wanted to just do some some painting here. Ooh. Um, so I just I downloaded a bunch of brushes in yeah. another language and just di- I didn't know what any of them did and just started messing. But it looks so cool. Oh my god. It was, it was a lot of fun. I love that you can just sort of do that. <laughs> in your workspace is a mess though. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I'll I don't know. Yeah, anything. we'll get there. We'll get there. Help me. I will. I'd love to. <laughs> Yeah, do you need a an uh, a three D cube? Yeah, yeah. where does the cube go? <laughs> the cube, well, the cube's just there for moral support. <laughs> That's my emotional support cube. That's my asset. emotional support cube. Please do not remove the cube. <laughs> I would not have been able to do this render if I was not looking at the cube the entire time. <laughs> But did you have fun messing around in the program? I had so much fun, yeah. Good. Wow. I just like kept leaving it and then coming back and being like, what if I what if I did it this ways? What if I did it that ways? Oh yeah. I really like the brush that you used for the spots on like the hyena neck. Oh, so good. I think that's one of the default brushes. I think it's just called watercolor splatter oh, yeah. or something. It's really good. Yeah. It also gives me that nasty vibe. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wanted it to feel I wanted it to feel nasty a little bit. Yeah. This looks so cool. Oh, I love it. I feel it makes me feel so happy to see it. <laughs> this is just my Jacob Fursona fan art. Damn, this was inside you too. Yeah, it just took longer. The Jacob Fursona <laughs> is inside of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> whether you want it to be or not yeah if you try to draw it you'll find it's like incredibly easy and it, it was just waiting there for you i think anybody who is you know we often get asked i'm i'm new to digital art i don't know where to start which i do uh render jacob persona yeah yeah that's gonna get you there so fast yeah it's just something about it it's just so, so many good shapes it's just such a good composition it's like got enough going on, but it's also not too overcomplicated. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, so much good texture. Yeah. Oh, and you figured out the shift key there, how that yep. works. Yep. <laughs> Took me a few tries, but I, f- I remembered. <laughs> yeah, it's different. It's different than It's Photoshop. just a little different. He's just a tricky little guy. Oh, this is so good. It has so much tooth and, and good like turn to it. Tooth and turn. Tooth and turn. Oh, little uh, highlights. Little, yes. little yes. highlights. Using now, I'm just using the the gouache. But there, there's one blender brush that came with that uh, that pack I downloaded. It was just like so nice. It felt like I could put anything down, and if I didn't like it, I could just blend it, blend it away. Blending is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Is what I'm learning. Yeah. I did a little bit of a callback to your color scheme by putting a little sort of purpley magenta yeah. overlay. Yeah, you did. Sort of made it a little little sunset vibes. Yeah, going on. I love a sunset palette, Nathan. This is so cool. Thank you. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. I feel, I feel like lately your rendering, or at least for like speed draws you've been doing, have like this painterly quality that's so cool. Yeah. Thanks. I love that for you. It's just nice getting to paint without getting your hands dirty and also having an undo button. (laughs) Truly. Yeah, it it takes away the parts of painting that I don't like, which are those exact things you mentioned. Yeah. (laughs) Ooh, the highlights on this line art. Yeah. Yeah. Then I went above the line art to add some highlights. I wanted to give it that sort of like sun sunlit backlighting glow. And then I think I went I went a little overboard with it and then end up deleting some of it, but keeping some of it as well. You'll see. 
A lot of a lot of push and pull with this one. A real a real mess around, if ever there was one. A classic mess <laughs> I around. I love watching your history just pop off. <laughs> oh yeah, I I like. <laughs> I've got to Whee! delete my number of history states because I did that for Photoshop and forgot to do it for Clip, and yeah. it it starts chugging by the end. <laughs> Gosh, but yeah, the cube is there forever, though. Okay, <laughs> cube no must remain. <laughs> this looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, just making real, real little decisions now. Just going back and forth yeah, with like that's how you do how how much I wanted to render the the hair, and I was like, do I want the background darker? No, not not so not so much. Um, you just gotta fuck around and find out sometimes. Yeah, the, it's like it really does feel good to just mess around in this program. Yeah, it feels a little more free or something. The the blender brushes just make you feel like you can just try something, and if it doesn't work, you you can just sort of blend it in. Yeah, and then it's still it's still in there. Oh. And maybe it adds in its own subtle way to the piece. Yeah. Like I love the color of like the shadow underneath the the head on the neck. Yeah, it's got like those bluer tones to it. Yeah. Yeah, that ended up looking really good when I put the the overlay also. I was like, ooh, this actually works. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I do all this this under lighting here, and then I was like, that's too much. I just want the the ones on the back. Man, this is cool, Nathan. Messing. Yeah. Just messing. Yeah, great work. Just messing it it's all. It's not up. even done yet. It's not even done. It's not even done, and it looks Who so knows? nice. Who knows what else we could see? We're just doing little little bits here and there. Okay, I think we're done now. Wow. There it is. Man. It's so cool. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, this rules. I keep looking at the end of the snout. Yeah. I'm real happy with how that turned out. Yeah. That looks so good. You should be. Great yeah, work. This, this is so awesome. Thank you, Nathan. I feel so honored. <laughs> it's you. It's me. It's it you. Wow. It you. I'm going to frame this and put it on my damn wall. Do it. Don't forget to put the cube in there. And yeah, the cube, the, cu the cube will be next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll frame that to in a tiny frame. <laughs> well, this is awesome. Great job. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Since you drew mine, I now will be the one who draws Julia's. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I see what you did there. I did a Julia piece. Okay. And the one I picked... Uh, probably a little unsurprising because it's one that, that drew me to it. I'll be surprised either way because I don't remember anything I ever do. <laughs> Julia, for one of the um, the random character generator challenges, uh -huh. you drew uh, Mickey, the little character with the truck and the dog. Oh! Yeah, and okay. I really like that little Toriyama ass character. Okay, yeah, not surprising. <laughs> and so I wanted to do that one. That's so a real. That was a real Jacob inspired piece. And then I took it, and <laughs> it did inspire me. It was inspired by me, and it inspired me. Yeah. And nice. now it will inspire you. Okay, excited to see where you go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Um, I forgot to start recording, so Fair. I did a little bit of inking. <laughs> That, wow. that you didn't get to see. <laughs> Unbelievable. But thankfully, wow, I, I remembered before um, it got too far. Um, so I did some things where I adhered a little more to your original sketch. Okay, yeah. Because um, you kind of did some changes in the inks. Yeah. But I was basing it off of the sketch more so. Fair enough, fair enough. And funny enough, as I was inking this, which I had a lot of fun with, and I'm using the um, the pen that, Karina recommended to me the good pen. Oh, I love this pen. Ooh, that good pen. That yeah, good pen. And uh, it's it's really awesome. I love just how it does everything. Um, I kind of, in a funny way, ended up making it a bit more angular oh. than yours. <laughs> if you look at like the shoulders and the yeah, yeah. my true. shapes huh. are all um, kind of rounded angles. Yeah, instead wow. of yours, which were straight up round. Yeah, huh. so that is weird. In an unexpected twist. I made yours less round. Whoa. You <laughs> said it couldn't be done. Yeah. Um, and I was trying to like sort of ink 
your sketch without looking at your finished one too often. Okay. So that like some natural differences could occur. Yeah. Um, in my sort of interpretation of it, which I thought was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and I just love the sort of whole like feeling of this piece when you made it originally. It felt like it was like in the middle of a story. Yeah. And I really liked the vibe that it gave off. It was like, you know, peaceful kind of. Even though the character's like lost, it still has like a, but she's not in any danger. Yeah. yeah. She's out there exploring like a fun world. Like when they're moving in Totoro. Yeah, exactly. Aww. That sort of feeling. Wide open spaces. Yeah. You know? Freedom. <laughs> See if I can ever get that line. <laughs> I did it. This. <laughs> really struggled with some, real. <laughs> some of the lines there, but I refused to use the shift key. I really wanted it to have an organic Yeah, I was feel. about to ask. You're just doing a line, yeah? You're not shift keying it. No, you'd see it. It does a it does a thing. It like you can't hide it. <laughs> I couldn't tell because you were going so fast, but it felt that way. I wanted the organic feel. Yeah, hell yeah. Of the line. I didn't want it to be artificially straightened. Yeah. For the the vibe I was going for. Um. Yeah. Then you could see even the dog. I make more angular. Aww. <laughs> oh, I like that. It really feels like it's flopping over it. And then I reinterpreted the eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> droopy. Excellent. Um, and you'll, you'll see as we go, there's a, a big element that I change, but that won't be till we get into like the coloring and stuff. Okay. Interesting. You made the bird huge. I made the bird huge. <laughs> bird, bird's wow. the only thing left. Bird big and bird so angry. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that I drew like basically the Heathcliff bird. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's different in your render. You did a, a big, like, dumpling bird, which yeah. I, I imitate that bird more so. Yeah, I like the dumpling bird better. It's a good <laughs> bird. And, uh, yeah, I kind of started having fun trying to do these, like, to make everything angular. Yeah. Um, yeah, that brush is so nice for that. It just looks... Yeah. It works mm. really well because of the, the size variation and stuff. Yeah. And then I, I thickened up some of the outlines here. Uh, just in certain spots. Name ring true is good brush. It's good brush. It's the good brush. <laughs> Cat is scratching the scratching post repeatedly and will not stop. Do it. Let her. Enjoy some scratch sounds. It's just going to be in there. There's nothing we can do about it's it. Just, it's just for you. She Audience. just keeps going. She just keeps Imagine going. Imagine there's a cat in the room with you. Yeah. It's because we trimmed their claws and... So now Joy's all excited. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I, Ooh I love the, this rusty color. The color of the truck. Yeah. Because nice. um, for my process, I it was like, I was like, it feels too close to the skin tone. Like it works mm. in yeah. your original piece. But when I started like looking at it, I was like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> so I wanted to change it off, change it up a little bit. I changed the dog color up a little bit too. Yeah. Everything's a little beigey. But it fits with like the tone of your piece, Ooh. yeah. Because it was like deserty, yeah. Um, but I wanted to, you know, this is like my little special interpretation. Yeah. You'll also see, um, and people I think will relate to this, um, that coming up here, I will color on the wrong layer about three times in a row and have to oh, go back. Oh, baby, yeah. The, this this bird. I did that. In on mine. the ink layer, the sign is on the ink layer. Yeah. Oops. And then you'll see me like turn layers on and off <laughs> coming up. <laughs> I do the whole sign and then have to redo the whole sign. Because <laughs> I just couldn't. There it is. I just Been figured there, it out. there, buddy. <laughs> but the bird. <laughs> yep. I'll have to do the bird as well. God damn it. <laughs> so stupid. I'm just <laughs> happens to us all. I'm experiencing secondhand frustration. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't directed at you. I think it was directed at myself. Yeah, all the times you've done it yourself. <laughs> no, I, I get it. You know what might have helped you stay focused? Little cube, little cube, <laughs> little focus right. cube. That's true. You don't have the cube on your screen. Yeah, yeah. where's your cube panel for I the wasn't cube? Thinking straight because I didn't have the cube. You didn't oh. have the cube. Idiot. Are you making it nighttime? I'm gonna make it a nighttime scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh. Yeah, you. So that's oh. gonna be my big, my big contribution here. Yeah, you. Did you fix the bird? Nope. Look at it. <laughs> it's wrong. 
You see, it's on the wrong layer and I have to go back. Delete all that, delete all that, color it again. I was so frustrated with myself. Sorry. <laughs> I've been there, buddy. It's because I made the same mistake Ooh. multiple times. That's cool. That That's yellow. really cool. Yeah. That's a good decision. Pop, pop in yellow. Yeah. yeah we, we love a pop. Oh, and then you know where your light source is, baby. Look at that. Wow. All that stupidity about the bird. You've you've redeemed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was smart in other ways. Yeah. That's art. <laughs> uh, and so mostly I'm adding like the light source from the car hitting things. And then I, I try a couple different methods of doing some shading um, that I end up taking away. This This stuff all stays, but. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Yeah. Um, then I always like, whenever there's like rim lighting like this, I fudge it a little bit, like putting it on the nose when it probably wouldn't be hitting the nose, but I just want to highlight our, it. That's our baby. And it probably wouldn't be hitting the dog either because <laughs> of the boxes, but I don't care. Whatever looks yeah. good. That's art. Yeah. I'm just here for results. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a little glow. Yeah, we're adding a little glow to the highlights. Make it kind of dreamy. Yeah. I also realized it made it seem like Mickey's been out here literally all day. That's true. Still looking at the still, map. Still, still looking still at like the road. I still don't know where to go. It's it's just the day night cycle. <laughs> yeah. Mickey pulls over to look at the map. Yeah. <laughs> then <Boom>. several hours <laughs> later. <laughs> several hours later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was trying to shade with the same brush that I did the highlights with, but I ended up not liking it. So um, what I'll do is switch to a an airbrush to darken oh, some areas. Oh, cool. Um, which I'm, I haven't done it yet. I'm still trying and not liking this. There we go. <laughs> now it's gone, and I get the airbrush. Ooh, there it is. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Correct decision. Yeah, it, I think it worked a lot better to do yeah. it that way. You did a little delete. Sometimes you do a little delete, a little delete your art. There's a reason we keep saying it. Yeah. yeah. It's because it's true. It's because it's true. <laughs> sometimes you must. You don't have to delete all of it, but sometimes a little bit yeah. can help. Yeah. If you're not sure about anything, get rid of it and try something else and maybe you'll like it better. Yeah. You don't need that. Uh, then I lighten it up just a little bit to make sure it's popping off the background yeah. the way I wanted it to. And that's it. This looks so, so good. Cool. This is awesome. Yeah, I thought it turned out great. I like that we both picked ones that uh, have a little rectangle for the background. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We love a compositional rectangle. I do love a paneled element. Yeah. 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 I'm a sucker for it. Excellent. Yeah. I hope you like it, Julia. Yeah, you did great. I hope you'll frame it and put it on the wall next to the cube. Always near the cube. <laughs> And speaking of Julia, me, it's now time to see what you did. You remember that time that Nathan did a bunch of cubes for the Clip Studio Paint episode? That was me. Well, Nathan put the cubes there. Nathan put Nathan, the cubes. That was the he sketch. loves those That's dang right. cubes. That's right. Uh, no, I didn't do that piece. Uh, <laughs> the piece that I did of Nathan's was an episode that I hosted. <gasps> It was the characters from books versus uh, movies. Oh, yes! Ooh. And Nathan, did you drew, drew, you drew horrible Pikachu? I redid his horrible Pikachu. Yes. That was supposed well, to be Pikachu. Yes, <laughs> which I forgot also had a Santa hat. A monstrous Pokemon <laughs> rendered by Julia. Oh yeah. my gosh, what a Perfect. treat! What a treat for all Perfect. the boys. The boys and girls. I'm ready to see <laughs> this nasty chew. Let's look at it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So I really wanted to keep... <laughs> I brought it, brought in Nathan's sketch and just worked on top of it. <laughs> How horrifying it is. <laughs> I also oh, wanted to God. use Nathan's original colors as the base colors. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I used oh, I used the, the <laughs> I used the colors and the sketch as the sketch entirely, and it just worked on top of it. Nice. Yeah. 
Uh, this was also the week that I had just gotten back from an overseas flight. So I was a little out of it. Hell yeah. And I don't remember how this piece turns out. You had this lovely <laughs> image yeah. to yeah. to center yeah. yourself with. Yeah. Welcome back, Julia. It'll be a, the final Julia. product will be a surprise to us all. Julia picked the image. I did. Yes. <laughs> it was not forced upon her. No, it was not. Uh, but I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I really this image just cracks me up. Oh yeah. God. Oh, more. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Gruesome. Well, in the book, Yorick is like really ripping into some beast. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Saturn eating his. <laughs> <laughs> Saturn eating his beef. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves it. He gets so excited. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I wanted to make it real horrific. Yeah, this is the grim dark version. Yeah, it is. This is the collab I've been dreaming of. Well, it's <laughs> it's funny because I used to render Nathan's drawfy images right. for a while, for probably a couple of years while I was also uh, the managing editor at Dorkly and the, the illustrator for Dorkly. I was also rendering Nathan's. I love the dot eyes for packing me up. <laughs> you mentioned it's in the description, right? It's beady eyes. So that's why I drew. Yeah. I was like, okay. But then when I drew it, drew the beady eyes on top of all this blood, it like was cracking me up. It's very I good. I think it's great. It's so funny. Oh my God. So we're going to start rendering. Um, but yes. yeah, you've. You've you've done you've done quite a few uh renders of my sketches. Yes, yes I have. So I wanted to give this one an extra an extra <laughs> push to make it different from how I used to render your pieces. Yeah. Because oh you you'd usually try and match my style. You do like yes. the simple yes. like one tone shading or whatever. Well I also did it um I did the renders very quickly. Yes, you're the the fastest renderer in the in the whole yes. office. Um, yeah, I kind of had to like get them done as quickly as possible because I I was you know like I said I was a, a managing editor and the head illustrator, so I was like doing comics and also overseeing the team and and doing all that stuff. So um, they were they were pretty simple renders back then. Yeah. So I wanted to really lean in and do do uh do a <laughs> do gross a full, one. A full <laughs> painting. And it's uh this, this oh yeah, the freaking sinews and the meat. Exactly. Really have it tear in. Yeah. Um <laughs> I do want to say this rending rendering style, um, which is, you know, something I'm still playing around with. I'm still trying to find you know, my style of doing uh, painted pieces. Uh, this way of, of doing it, you're in the ugly stage uh, from, you know, percent zero to 90. And then only in the last 10% of working on it does it actually look like anything okay. Because <laughs> so right now it just looks really, like an airbrushed mess. You got to really be okay with it. You <laughs> yeah. have to really have confidence that it's going to come come together. I just kept saying, believe in the process. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it's supposed to be. Oh, this meat. Yeah. It's a stringy. The meat was my guiding light. He really, it like it looks like he started his bite so far up the meat and like dragged his teeth across. Yeah, it was really like pulling on it. Yeah. Oh my God, Julia, th this is an honor. This is a true honor. Uh, yeah, this one was gross, but it was fun. <laughs> this little Santa hat. <laughs> Why does he have a Santa hat again? We decided it was Santa. Oh, yes, that explains it. Because <laughs> it was eating a reindeer, right? Ah, uh, so that, that explains yeah. it. <laughs> Go back and watch that episode. You can tell I everything. Everything I did was based on stuff no, people I, were I saying. I don't doubt it. <laughs> it was all based on facts. Yeah, this is a very factual image. <laughs> yeah, this is real. It's out there in the woods. 
Yeah. Wait, waiting for you. It's a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> this is the photograph Nickelback was talking about. Yeah. This is what that song was about. <laughs> oh, we got some texture coming in. Yeah. I had to break up how, like the smooth because, you know, when you paint traditionally or, or, you know, using the traditional steps, you're supposed to work big into small. Right. The, the big soft shading was really driving me nutty. So I went in with textures and started breaking it up a little bit. Yeah. Get that fur in there. Yeah, you can sort of only leave it as long as you can tolerate it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've earned that. Yeah. Julia, I like that we both did sort of sort of furry furry nasty critters. Oh, you're right, we did. Yours yours <laughs> is way nastier than Jacob yeah. for Sona, but they're both they both have bones. They're both yeah, holding sure. bones. That's very true. Yeah. Jacob's persona can be nasty. Jacob's persona's bone is cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> More this aesthetic one, uh... bone. <laughs> Here's an art process thing. For this uh, meat, for the meat, for the bone and like uh, the meat coming off. Yeah. Uh, I looked up photo reference of um, uncooked chicken wings. Oh, enjoy your meal concept. <laughs> Where it gets kind of like ripped up. And, <laughs> and so I got to look at the color of like the bone and, and see how the meat would look and stuff like that. So, um, How fun. Use reference. Yeah, look up, <laughs> look up some chicken wings. Yeah, look up some meat. Everyone right now, open a new tab, Google meat. <laughs> and no, draw what don't, you see. Don't. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. But you should. People never have to do anything, but they love to do what we tell them yeah. for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> That's and true. We love you. <laughs> you don't have to do it. You just should do it if you want to ever be a good artist. Right. <laughs> you only become a good artist if you Google the word meat. Yeah. Right now. Right, right now. now. Right now. Your window's closing. <laughs> <laughs> so is this like a moonlit? meal <laughs> uh yeah i imagine that you were walking through the woods and you happened upon this you also made it nighttime i just ma i just put mine in like broad daylight <laughs> i i wanted to be done rendering it yeah. okay but i feel like that's subversive to the original yeah you all switched it that's yeah. what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. it's good <laughs> the eyes Oh my gosh, the little red reflection in those little dot eyes. Oh my God, I Julia. wanted the dot eyes to look less teddy bear-esque. Yeah, scary beads. Yeah. Scary beads. I wanted scary some of like the ah. muscle to be going through the gaps of the teeth. Yeah. Oh, got to get that hat. Got to render that. The hat is just a flat. <laughs> the Santa hat. It's so important. <laughs> it's actually just a, a zoom uh, filter. That he's wearing <laughs> for his he's video call. call. Everyone hates being on Zoom calls with Pikachu because he just eats the whole time. <laughs> you enter the Zoom call and this is what you see. <laughs> uh, and that's my piece. Wow. wow. Oh my God. Incredible. Yep. You'll note that I apparently didn't save the entire time because my piece is still you titled didn't. Untitled One. I respect that. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't deserve... A title. Yeah. It's just it just is. It speaks for itself. <laughs> well, what a nightmarish end. Yep. I love it. To a fun challenge. So cool. This is so funny. <laughs> it's just it's like <laughs> it's so technically well done and it's just the funniest <laughs> fucking <laughs> That's my favorite genre of art. And that's what I think we excel at. Yeah. Yeah. It's where we live. I love this. <laughs> Karina, what did you think? What's the ratings of the pieces? Uh, 11. 11, 11, 11. Elevens. All around. Out of 10. 11 cubes out of Woo! 10 cubes. Yeah. I would give each of these the comfort cube. <laughs> the highest <laughs> praise you can offer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and if you watching want to give us the comfort cube, there's only one way to do it. Well, there's, there's four ways that form the four corners of the comfort. <laughs> well, a cube has more corners than that, but you get what I'm getting at. Um, nope. You should like and subscribe <laughs> on the video and leave a comment yeah. about what you want to see us draw. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go to the Patreon. And if you really like what we do and want to support us, that's the best way to do it. And you get little rewards. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can get the uh, the high res PNGs of all of these wonderful images. For example, so they can be closer to you. You can really get in the pixels of this bad boy. You can hang them up on your wall next to your framed picture of the cube. <laughs> this does not include the PNG of the cube. No, the cube you get. You have to get your own cube. Sorry, get that one on your own. Uh, you can also watch us on Twitch Monday nights at seven PM Eastern Time. Um, where we will be discussing the merits of the cube Mm -hmm. and uh, what the cube has done for us and what it can do for you. (laughs) (laughs) We love the cube. We love the cube. You can also head over to our merch store to get all of our cube-related merchandise. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. We have, you you can buy a cube Uh or two cube. Or maybe even three. Three cube, you can do four cube, too many. That's a lot. And let us know in the comments... Your favorite kind of cube <laughs> and how many corners it has. Yeah. Let Is us it know. four? We're not sure. <laughs> we, we just don't know. It's impossible to know. Yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> can't, can't know. Unknowable. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, even though I didn't do anything. Sorry. <laughs>